Welcome to Automation Training Hub. In this video, we are going to learn ABB PLC. So the software name is Control Builder Plus. So in ABB PLC, for input and output, the addressing has been given in this way. For digital input, the address starts from percentage IX 4000.0 till 4000.7. That means 4000, that will be channel. 0, 0.0 that will be bit so each channel how many bits we have now eight bits suppose uh, first eight address has been used the next address you have to use is 4001.0 same way goes for digital output qx 4000.0 4000.1 like that so only difference is what input means ix output means qx same way we have analog input for analog input, the addressing has been given as IW2000.0. So in that also same way they have given analog input as well as analog output. And uh, in ABB, the memory address has been given in this way. Percentage MX 0 .0 0.0.0. So in this... Zero point zero that will be channel and point zero that will be bit. So in each channel, how many bits we have now? Eight bits. That's why this address has been changed into percentage MB. B means byte. So zero point zero. So in each byte we have eight bits. Okay. So why we are changing in this way now? In ABB, they are not given any fixed register address. In ABB, the address only they defined as, if it is 16-bit, the address should start with percentage MW. If it is 32-bit, means the address uh, should start with MD. So right now, if I, give an, uh, if I need a 16-bit, the address I'm giving it as what? MW 0, 0.0. That means... 0th channel plus 1st channel. In byte, 0th channel, 1st channel. So by combining these two channels only, we getting what? 16 bits. That means integer address. 16 bit address we are getting. Same way if I need a 32 bit address now, if I give an MD 0, 0, 0 0.0 means in that we using 0th channel, 1st, 2nd, 3rd. So by combining all the for channel, we are getting the 32 bit. For example, in your program, I'm used MW 0, 0.0, then MW 0 0.2 also used. Then in 32 bit, I can't use MD 0, 0.0 because already 0th channel, first, second, third, we used as what? 16 bit. So directly, I have to prefer this one MD 0.4. So if you are using MD 0.0, no, it's not going to show as a error, but it will display a wrong value since that uh, channel has been using as a storage for what, 16 bit. So wrong value it will display. So to avoid, carefully we have to use the address. So in the later classes, we use these addresses. In that time, more detail will study. So right now in ABB, the software we are going to use is Control Builder Plus. So when you select that software, So you can see the window will open in this way. File, new project. So in the templates, it's asking. So you can see, for example, this one. The controller is AC500 and the processor module is 564. The communication is Ethernet. Firmware is version 2.1. And in here, it's asking the project name. So, whatever name you want, you can give. For example, right now, I am given us sample. So, when I give an OK, you can see the project has been created and it's showing the model. If you expand this one, you can see in onboard, we have what? Eight, eight uh, digital input, six digital output, two analog input, one analog output. 
So in this board, the capacity is what? Eight digital input, six digital output, and then two analog input, one analog output. Suppose if you want to configure the analog IOs, whether it is voltage or current now, what you can do is you can see in here IO bus, sorry, not IO bus. If you expand the board, you can see IO, on board IOs. So this IO bus for expansion. So these are inbuilt IOs. Apart from that, by using expansion, you are planning to add it now. We can able to add it. So you can see. So select IO bus, right click. You can see add a device. With help of that, we can add uh, other modules. You can see in this AI, AO. So like that, they have given. Okay, so right now we need is what analog I, IO we want to configure. So you have to select this one onboard IOs. When you double click, it will get and you can do the configuration. So for two analog input, they are not given separate uh, analog input. What they did is since we have eight uh, digital input in that itself, the last two digital input they given as a configuring input. Like uh, you can choose either digital or analog. So right now you can see in here they given as what? Six and uh, seven. So they given as a digital input. If you are going to use as analog now, just double click, you can choose into analog. So when I give an analog, it will choose what? Zero to 10. Okay. So in this way, you can able to configure it. Okay. So right now, we are going to do the testing. Later, we'll uh, do the interfacing. In interfacing time, I will teach you how to configure the Ethernet or how to know your controller IP address, all those details. So now we want to develop a program. So I'll go to AC500. You can see AC500 now. That is the programming page. When you select that, it's asking, it's trying to open what? Codices. So in ABB, we are using two software. Control Builder Plus as well as Codices. Control Builder Plus is for selecting the model and doing the hardware configuration and uh, setting the IP address, all those things. And for programming, we're using the Codices. So when I give an yes, you can see in the bottom right corner, it's showing loading the Codices. So right now still uh, you can see in the bottom loading. Uh, so that means it is not properly loaded. The files uh, required uh, files and all, it is not loading properly. So for that project rebuild all. So whenever you opening the codices for the first time, we have to do it. Project rebuild all. Then in the side, you can see it's showing POU folder. POU means program organization unit. In this folder only all the programming files will be saved. So in ABB, the main page name is PLC underscore PRG. That means uh, this is our main programming page. So without main program, we can't able to use it. Just like in Omron, we have a section one default now. So like that in ABB, they given PLC underscore PRG. And the default language will be ST. So when I double click this one, you can see it's asking in ST language. So I'll just close it. We need what? Ladder diagram. So what I do is I'll right click PLC underscore PRG, then convert object, give LD, give OK. So now your main page has been changed into what? Letter diagram language. So now double click, you can develop the program. So you can see the basic symbol. So right now in here, each line we call it as network. In some PLC, we call it as rank in your network. So when I right click, you can see network either before or after it's asking. Okay, so now we'll try to do the same start and stop operation. We'll familiar with the software. What are the things they given? So I'm placing invoke contact. And when I try to place coil, it is not placing. Why now? In ABB, when you place a contact now, the cursor will be selected that one. So always before placing a, another symbol, another object, select the line, place it. 
then nc contact now again select the line nc contact so right now i need a <laughs> latching so i'll sell a Select the envo contact. I'll give the parallel. Okay. For example, right now, you are saying uh, this parallel contact should come for both two contacts as a series. Then what you can do now, you can see in here, either I can place the parallel in this way. Otherwise, uh, I'll delete it. If I select this one, if I give parallel, it is coming like this. Or that. If I select the line, if I give parallel, it will come in this way. Fully it will come. I hope you understand uh, how to use the parallel contact. Or maybe right now uh, we are given the parallel in here. So you want to place this contact inside the parallel so what you can do is uh, drag and place it in here when it's showing green color you can drop okay so like this and all uh, user friendly they have given so we can edit the program more easily so right now we need latching so i'll select the send contact i will give a parallel contact in here so already we know the input address is what percentage iex 4000.0 so I'll just copy this address, paste it in here. 4000.1. So output means uh, percentage QX 4000.0. So once the program is done, if you want to check for any error, project build for compile, it will show you any error is there now. Then to test it, online select simulation mode first. Then online login. So in the bottom, you can see it's showing online and sim. So it is not in run mode. So online run. So how to on the input now? Just a double click the input, it will show as a dot in that time in online right values we have to give. So the shortcut is control F7. So I'll just give control F7. So the output is on. So I'll off the input. Due to latch, the output remains in on. When I activate the second input, output is off. So I have to release it back. So release it. If you want to edit your program now in online, you can give logout, you can edit. So like this, we can able to develop the program. We have another method also. So instead of using the address in simulation without address also, we can use it. Instead of giving address, I'll just give it as uh, name start since we are giving a name in plc we say it as a variable when you enter declare variable page will come so it's showing the variable name is start and the data type is boolean so the default data type will be boolean boolean means on and off so in interfacing time we have to use uh, input address in here but since we're doing simulation without addressing also it will work so We'll check it. So I'm not going to give any address in here. I will give OK. So you can see in the top, uh, the variable has been declared in your main page. So that means these are the local variables. It can be used only in this page only. PLC underscore PRG. So right now I'll just give in here as top. So it will, it also Boolean in here load. So same name. So online login, online run mode, double click. So control F sum. So without address also it is working. But when you connect with PLC, definitely we have to use 
address. So then only when that input is uh, triggered in your, in your program also, it will be triggered. So in that time, what you have to do now, right now you forgot to give address in this variable. So select the variable. You just give it as shift F2. So again, it will open the declare variable window for that variable. You can type the address in here. Percentage IEX 4000.0. Same way for stop. So right now you can see it's not showing. That means we didn't select properly. So come out again, select shift F2. Okay. So now I'll give in here as 4000.1. So in here, So already 4000.0 we used in the top. So I'm using different address in here. So now online login, online run. So you can see in the top right now it's showing address also. So when I double click in here, you can see it's showing the start. We're trying to change. Uh, it is initially it is in false mode. We're trying to change into true. So control F7, it will on. So again, if I double click, so I can double click in here or in here also I can double click. Instead of true, you can double click in here. So it's showing false. So control F7. So now so like this, we can do the testing. So you can familiar with the software. So in the next class, we'll see the how to use timer instructions or counter how to implement in this, what are the difficulties we have in this, we'll see.